Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our third video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video we have covered how you can create a simple console application in Qt5 C++. In this video I'm going to start a GUI application development with Qt5 C++ framework. And we are going to create our first GUI window in Qt5 C++. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, this is my Qt creator, I have opened my Qt creator. Now I'm going to create a new project from here, a uh, file, new file or project. Uh, and from here you need to choose Qt widget application and click on choose. Here you can give uh, a name, I give it GUI app. And in here you can choose your uh, project location. Uh, after this click on next and in here I have uh, it's chosen by default uh, it is uh, MVC 2015 64 bit click on next and now in here this is our class name uh, that's called main window and it has a header file also it has a, a CPP file also we are going to create a generate form for our application and from here uh, the base class is right now Q main window but you can change this to Q widget, Q dialog. Uh, these are three uh, base classes that a window we can use for a window. So when you're going to use Q main window, uh, it is uh, for uh, the window will have a toolbar and you can add menu bars by default. But the Q widget and Q dialog, there is no toolbar and menu bar. So for right now, I'm going to create uh, by default make it Q main window and click on next next okay now this is our first GUI application let me uh, this is our GUI app folder this is our dot profile and in here we have a header file and we have a source file and the header file if I open main window dot h you can see that we have a namespace UI and uh, in here uh, I have included it's included Q main window but if we choose the Q dialog it will be Q dialog because in here we are going to create a Q main window, Q main window. Uh, uh, this is our class main window, and this is our class main window that it, it inherits from Q main window. And this is our macro, uh, Q object is our macro, and every application in Qt5 has this. Uh, also, this is our uh, constructor, this is our public and private. In the public, we have a constructor also we have a distractor and in the private we have the, our namespace and main window pointer to the UI now let me open the source file now in the source file I have a main CPP and main window.cpp let me first show you the main window.cpp and here uh, I have uh, created my main window and this is our constructor and in here I have uh, created the setup for my UI and in this section this is the uh, distractor and it deletes the UI after uh, creating and this is our main.cpp uh, in main.cpp we have included the main window.h and its Q application and this is like basic C++ code and it is the same as we have covered in uh, a console application but there is a difference in here we have a uh, object of main window and we have show our window now if I run this uh, let me run this from here you will see that I have a nice GUI window it will be run and we should wait for some minute oh, and also I have uh, forgot it to uh, before uh, this I have forgot it to uh, introduce you this form. Yeah, you can see that now I have a, a window. This is our toolbar. You can. Uh, this is our toolbar, and this is our main window. And also in here we have form. This is the UI file, our user interface file. Uh, let me open this. In here you can add your widget uh, graphically, and your component. Uh, this. For example, for right now, I'm going to just a push button in here. Uh, you can see it now if I run this. And uh, yeah, you can see now I have a push button. Also, uh, 
this is from here uh, you can change the name you can set the size pol policy and you can change the font size uh, for example if I change the font size you can to 14 bold yeah now it is uh, much uh, bigger push button also you can change the name from here for example click me and also if you want to change the button uh, from for, in here you can see that the object name is push button you can change the name in the code but this is the UI file our this is an XML file for the UI if you're good in XML that it, then it will be good let me change the uh, button name in my main window cpp ui uh, push button set text and for right now I'm going to give it a hello world uh, now if I run this save all you can see now it's a low world right now uh, there is nothing for this uh, you can see hello world uh, thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos uh, please subscribe my channel and also if you like the video please share the video with your friends